Hello guys, it's me. I know you don't know me, but you will very soon. And please go easy on me because that's my first vlog in English, all right? So today, as our first adventure, I'd like to take you to this almost abandoned tiny little island, which is called Kuroshima. This island it was so popular in the 70s and still in the early 80s. There was uh, even infrastructure there, like a hotel and a restaurant, camping sites, and everything was there. And it's actually still there, the buildings are there, but uh, they actually not in a good condition anymore. Some of them already collapsed. So now there is a group of enthusiasts, like uh, uh, the guy which I'm gonna introduce you to in a second. And they trying to make this island popular again. Trying to bring some tourists here, organizing some uh, events. My Polish friend Marisha will be joining us today to this adventure. Hello guys! <laughs> and this is Nagano-san. He is yeah. very... Uh, he tried to make this island popular again, <coughs> right? Thank you. <laughs> so we will help him to do that. Our uh, ride is coming. Let's see. If you haven't got your own boat, the only way to get to the island is just to come to the pier and wait here. The thing is that there is no particular schedule and the person who ran this uh, shuttle, let's say, <laughs> Uh, he lives nearby and once he sees someone on the pier, he's just coming over picking up the people and you have to tell him what time you want to come back, he will come and pick you up back. Uh, the cost is 250 yen each way. Okay. So, uh, so we are on the way. And then, uh, since the travel lasts about five minutes, not even that probably, which is almost about to arrive. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly just uh, jump inside and show you how it looks like inside. Mm. And there is like a cabin here. Oh, look at this. So it's a uh, boat like that. The floor seems like it's moving back. But anyway, it's a fun, guys. This is the adventure. Who is those two guys? Who are you? And that's the driver coming in here. Okay, let's have a look. This is the driver coming in here. Oh. And now we are arriving to the uh, Hiroshima. Oh, we have many visitors. Funamushi. Funamushi? Funamushi. Funamushi. Ah, okay. So those uh, small insects call Funamushi. This. So you can see we are already here and that's the that's the pier we come from. So this is the map of Kuroshima as you can see it's a really tiny island. There's uh, two beaches, one is on the front which is here, just on this side. And there's another one, a little tiny uh, beach on the other side with the ocean view. <laughs> if you know what I mean. There's actually three coffins, three or five coffins. Yeah, so this is like a a uh, prehistoric burial place in Japan. Uh, we get we get to that later. And then all those buildings here you can see that's the old infrastructure of the restaurants, hotel, catering, which was uh, in the 70s and 80s, right? When the Kurushima was a uh, very busy, very popular destination. And let's hope it's gonna be again. Okay, let's let's see what uh, Kurushima has to offer. That's our driver coming. Arigato! Thank you very much. As you can see, there's some uh, canoe rental here, 
some equipment. I want to do that. So at first we're going to uh, pay a visit to the owner of this island. He apparently still have a house on the island and occasionally he stay here. Usually in the summer when some other people tourists come in here. As you can see this is all all these buildings are from the old times when people were coming here. This is the uh, washing place. So we'll get back to this later. Oh yeah, let's go this way first. So this is one of the most beautiful little roads on the island. As you can see many uh, gorgeous plants here. And those buildings are the original, like from 70s? 70, 60, 70, 60, 70. 60, 70s, yeah. yeah. This style is very nice. Yeah. So Showa era. Showa era. Yeah, that, so the buildings are from the Showa era. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Showa era is the time when the Showa emperor was ruling Japan. So, oh, like this one. So this kanji it, means Kuroshima. Yeah, yes, Kuroshima. Kuroshima. Kuroshima village, then. Yeah, so, so the house. Kuroshima house. Ah, Kuroshima house. Mm. Unfortunately, the building, like most of them, they just falling apart. And this huge one, like behind there, which you can see later, we're gonna get to there. It's like the whole roof collapsed to the inside. So, oh, we get some, some guys on the beach here. We get to the beach later too. As you can see, the crystal clear water. And it's a like, beautiful shape of this laguna here. So, Marisha, what's your first thought about this island? Summer! <laughs> Basically summer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. It's brilliant. I haven't seen any of it, but it's great. Okay, yeah. So far it's been great. I mean, the first impression is really, really good, yeah? Uh -huh. uh, Nakano-san, uh, in one day, how many people come into here? It depends roughly? on the weather or well, holiday or... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's like... Last uh, uh, Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, 150. Oh, okay. Not bad. 100 uh, adults and mm -hmm. 50 children. Yeah. But it's very small. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, because of the corona. Ah, yeah. so so. But here we are separated, so no corona in Kuroshima. Ah. <laughs> you can come to Kuroshima, there's no yes, corona yes, yes. here. What was more museum? Ah, museum. About the... Leaf day. The story. The name of the ship. Leaf day. Leaf day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, slowly to tell you the story about the island. So basically, uh, in uh, year 1600, in the uh, April the 19th, the Dutch ship arrived just next to the Kuroshima. It was the flotilla of few ships started uh, from uh, Poland, but only one managed to come here. And that was the first contact for them with the Japan and for uh, of the crew of the ship and at the same time the first contact for the locals and apart from some of those uh, Dutch people who were on that uh, ship there was one British guy and his name uh, British captain and his name was William Adam uh, you can actually see, see him um, because um, there was a TV uh, drama at least in Europe I watched it in my teenage years uh, it was exactly about this situation and he arrived to Japan and he stayed here and he was kind of cooperating with the um, uh, Shogun so this is a long story anyway not for today but basically those people who arrived here they can barely walk they were so tired about this journey and then they they were, they were catching many of the uh, sickness on the way so just check in here in the meantime <laughs> so cicada here so that's why that that's the that's the main story about this island basically it's very famous because the first step of Europeans were in Kyushu in this Q, uh, part of Kyushu eastern Kyushu were uh, placed here in this very island so th this is a small museum which is around and that's, that's the ship that's the ship which was called the Leaf Day and the first that ship arrived in Japan so the current 
uh, Dutch king. Yes. King. Great story. And, and this year is actually anniversary for 420 20. years. This year. So this year is exactly 420 years anniversary in uh, April. In April the. 19th. Nineteenth, uh, yeah, in April nineteenth. Mm. So that's why you can see the script like Japanese because we are in Japan, British because of the uh, Williams, and then Dutch flag because of the Dutch sailors. Okay, let's continue. Trying to meet the owner of the island. Yeah, for a cleaning toilet at the moment, you see. Ah, thank you. Gloria Michal, the Hajime Master. Ah, so the ambassador of Holland yeah. in Japan, he made this. So basically, uh, as a um, memory of this uh, event which takes place 420 years ago, the ambassador of uh, Holland in Japan come in here occasionally, not every year, but sometimes, and present with uh, new of those uh, signs just to uh, make a memory of this uh, event which happened here. Ah, you can feel here like in uh, paradise. Look at this uh, tree and the, the roots here. Wow, so cool. That's so cool. Look at this. And how about those fruits? Is this eatable? Eatable? No, 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 no. No? Not? No. Uh, it's a like a baramita mm. So it's like the, the the red flowers. What's the name? Tsubaki. Uh, it? It? Tsubaki. But it's not good for eating. No, no, no. Yeah. Not eating. This is not for eating, guys. Yeah, and they use it very often to make oil, and it's very good for your hair. Oh yeah, because you're the girl, so you know your stuff, right? Uh, I think you care more <laughs> about your hair than I do about mine. But oh really? Just saying. Oh yes. Yeah, let's see. To the well. Uh, shogun well. Ah, shogun well. Okay, I read about this story. That's very interesting. Yes. So, I've heard that uh, there's a well with the water, and it was uh, so popular, so famous that the water is uh, has an excellent taste. So the shogun from Kyushu, on the way to Kyoto, used to stop by to have a cup of tea just with that water. And let's see if that's. Uh, Oh, look at those leaves. Look at and then there's a flower in behind there. Okay. Oh, wow. So, is that the well? Oh, it's still water there. Well, it doesn't look so... Is it still drinkable? Yeah, it's not uh, just uh, water. Not it doesn't include any uh, salt. Mm. Right, just water. Uh, Sweet water. If basically. you want to drink, uh -huh. you, you had better boil it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the water is not drinkable without boiling, at least I'm not brave enough to do it. Look what's happened here. There's still mikan on the tree. Mikan is the local orange, basically. Rock, uh, orange and mandarin, there's a few several different types of mikan. You can get the small one, the big one. Mm. Oh wow, it looks good. So juicy. Let's see. Mm. How is it? Mm. Good? Good. So even though in Japan the main season for the mikan is like a junigatsu, yeah? Like uh, yeah, junigatsu, de yeah, yeah, December, January, this is the main season for uh, orange in Japan. But it's still here on the tree, as you can see, you can still uh, eat it and it's still perfectly eatable. Oh, and by the way, I just see the fertilizer. This is also some sort of equipment to take the water from the well, because uh, as what the Nakano-san Nakano -san told us, that uh, if we continue here, there's some area where uh, mm, a couple of people are still uh, growing some stuff like a mikan and another another plants so uh, they obviously need the water for their uh, whatever they're growing there so that's the place where they're taking from and this is the main source of the sweet water basically on the island so as i say it used to was a 
perfectly drinkable straight out of it but now it's not anymore you have to boil it so inaba no inaba the name of inaba the he uh, governed the usuki mm -hmm. uh, in edo area mm -hmm. they, they use this uh, water oh. to make a tea mm -hmm. over there all oh, oh, right the they stop uh, drop in this area when go to the edo ah oh. yeah every every year we have a uh, half a day today on the island because uh, my friend Marika she has to come back early and she she's not living in Oita where I do. So, uh, but definitely this summer I will come back here one more time, at least one more time, to do uh, like a full day stay. Maybe even overnight. It will be nice to have a camp here and you know evening barbecue, watching the stars, having a shitload of meat and then some beer. Mm. Here's the uh, island owner, Mr. Watanabe. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hi, so the uh, person before was his son, Mr. Watanabe's son, and this is Mr. Watanabe. So he's just cutting his own grass now. Arigatou gozaimasu. The place where you cannot probably see it now, just yet, but this whole blue and white area is actually a map of the world. Okay, so now we go into the uh, mountain inside this island and uh, unfortunately, it's a, which is very unfortunate actually, that is my first video for this uh, channel which I wanted to show you, you know, very nice and there's some problems with my gimbal so it might be a little shaky oh look at this some farmers uh, storage houses see there's a crate where they uh, transporting the uh, mikan from the mountain and basically what is this uh, what you can see here is leading to the beach and this goes all the way there to the mountain and this has been used for the transportation of the oranges or wherever they grow in up there and you can see that in the whole of the uh, Japanese countryside that's very popular for uh, for uh, transporting the uh, the goods, uh, the vegetables, the fruits, wherever they're growing in the mountain, which is very convenient. Oh yeah, we're going this way now. Okay. Ah, oh, some I'm so pissed off with this gimbal problems. Oh, look at this rock here. Yes. You can feel like in the, uh, the TV drama Lost. Apart, we are not the uh, plane crash survivors. Oh, it looks like some yama. Well, this is definitely a snake territory. Ah, very humid, guys. Oh, looks like there's some some sort of hole here. Some structures. I don't know what it is. Let me ask uh, Mr. Nagano. Nakano. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'm just keep messing around with his name. Nakano-san, So, that's water tanks basically and now we continue this way <sighs> yeah I was saying that it's a very humid and it's about 34 degrees right now we can see the cave and what, what is so what is that uh, one of those coffins ah so so this actually little hill here which is uh, we are at the very top now it's one of the coffins the prehistoric burial ground so that's what used to use 
in a prehistoric. 2000 years ago, kana. Ah, so this is newer. A new, yeah, yeah, this is newer than that. So it's from 2000 years. No, 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 no? it's not. Not this one. Fifth, sixth century. Sixth. All ah, right. Okay. And this is also kafun or not? Uh, yeah. yeah. This is also kafun, right? Uh, yeah, also kafun. Yes. yes. So this is then kafu number five. This skill here. That was the first one which I showed you. There's obviously uh, plenty of them in uh, Japan and in the Kyushu yeah. Island. The biggest one in the Kyushu is located actually very close to the place where I live. I'm going to show you one day. Over there. And it's huge and, and uh, it's in a perfect shape, very good shape. Plus, it was uh, lots of work done there by the archaeologists uh, to keep it uh, in a good shape. So we're gonna get to this at, at some point at one of the episodes. So in general, Japanese countryside is so exciting. So many places to see, so many places to discover. Especially for those of you who love history, who like adventure and discovering abandoned hidden places. So not the main touristy places one. This uh, gimbal problem annoying me a lot. This is the time when cicada it's uh, very noisy all across Japan. Look at this. In this area, going. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. See, so this is the, the uh, device, let's call it, to, for the transportation of the... <laughs> this goes on this track, and then uh, this is the platform where they put the crates, the boxes, and here is the engine inside. And then this goes all the way up to the, to the mountain. So even though it's a small island, it still uh, has uh, lots to offer, lots to see, lots to discover. This is a small mikan, right? Okay, yeah, 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 so, getting bigger than bigger. So it's uh, uh, in December, it should be ready. And Marisha just says that would be nice fun for children for riding. Imagine, well, I would love to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Do you think it's the work? Of course, yeah, it definitely work. This is a funny thing there. I can see there's a, a crow, but it's like a plastic crow. It looks like it's been used for uh, to scare the real crow. They have some crops here. I don't know what kind of vegetable is this. I think I know, but I don't know the name. After from that flower, it will become like a long and then fat shape, blue, deep blue color. There's some plants there as well. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, and all you can see there are the mikan, the orange trees. I love it. Ooh, look at that fly, that butterfly, so big. Looks almost like a small horse. Okay, so now going back this way. Yeah, so any of you guys, if you're planning to visit Kyushu, uh, specifically Oita Prefecture, you got to come here. You definitely need to come to Kuroshima. Amazing island, but still plenty to see. I haven't showed you everything yet, so stay tuned.
Oh yeah, what I wanted to tell you that uh, this uh, board here telling us that uh, on this island here they were found this is the weight for the fish net from 2000 years back and they were found here so you can see how rich of history of settlement is on this island I think it's uh, drone time!